So, I'm officially back. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to those of you who watched my last vlog. The last vlog was more of an intro video to the new series, Me vs. Me series. And today, we're actually starting a series within the series. So for the next six months, I'm going to be working and I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me throughout as well as giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to start. This is not my first bulk. I actually bulked back in January. Things didn't really go as planned. Ended up getting caught into a, a whole bunch of other stuff and ended up just running out. Yeah, I'm excited to start. So without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. So first thing you're gonna wanna do every morning is weigh yourself on an empty stomach. The reason for this is because your body has had all the overnight hours to digest and process whatever you ate and drink the day before. Real quick before we head out, we're gonna make a pre-workout snack. All you need is four ingredients. I'm gonna put the instructions to follow up on the screen just in case you guys wanna make this at home. Alright, first bite, best bite. Let's go. <laughs> that first, that first whole scoop was all peanut butter, bro. Real quick, I want to give a quick shout out to my sister for coming last second to help me record. I could not for the life of me find someone to help me record today and I texted her and she was able to pull through and she blackmailed me to get her Sonic today. It's not blackmail, it's bribery. She bribed me. She, my sister's always hustling me man, for real. We are back from the gym and we're in our post-workout meal for the day. This is actually my second meal of the day, but what we have here is some eggs with ground beef, as well as potatoes and cheese sprinkled on top. Everything in here is portion size. And what I did for this meal was two potatoes, two, four ounces of ground beef and two eggs, as well as some cheese sprinkled on top. I had these meals are pretty easy and affordable. I'm trying to do this in the best way possible with minimal fat gain. If you guys have a Costco, Sam's Club, or Dylan's in your area, I suggest getting a membership with them. Like me, I have a Sam's card and a Dylan's card. We don't have Costco, but they're the same. And it just saves time from going back and forth to the grocery store and time is money, so. All right, before we end the video, I'm gonna give you guys some free game. I wanna start by saying bulking is an investment. So when you start, it's important to come in with some goals in mind. And if you don't have some, set some. Time management is everything. Like I said, bulking is an investment. You're gonna have to find time to meal prep as well as find time to eat. 
and make time for the gym. And a question you're going to want to ask yourself when setting goals is how long do you plan on bulking, how much weight you plan on putting on, and even just setting goals for yourself in the gym. Back in January when I started my first bulk, I didn't really come in with a game plan. I was trying to put on a certain amount of weight within a certain amount of time. Another thing I will add is I tried stuffing in food in the last second, which made me feel rushed. And when you feel like things are falling apart, you tend to find yourself stuffing in meals last second, which is the last thing you want. Keep in mind, I was working night shifts at the time, which really didn't help. Because I had to find time to sleep, I didn't really have a sleep schedule. I never really had a set sleep schedule, but sleep is very important, especially when it comes to muscle recovery. So make sure you're getting a sufficient amount of sleep eight hours minimum. It's not gonna be all sunshine and rainbows. But as long as you stay consistent and stay disciplined, it'll be a piece of cake. For me this time around, I'm coming with a new game plan. So as of day one, I weighed in at 107 pounds and I plan on bulking for at least six months. So by February, 2024, 2025, I will weigh 140 pounds to download so meal tracking apps such as my fitness pal or macro factor these apps will help you log your meals as well as keep track of your calories and macros and i can't stress enough how important it is to track your macros especially when it comes to your goals and if you don't have one already i suggest investing in a food scale and a weight scale to keep track of your progress the food scale more for tracking your macros but yeah they're both pretty important and if you don't know what your macros are, I just went to macro calculator or calculator.net. There they have a free macro calculator for you guys to use. Yeah, that being said, I'm excited for what lies ahead and I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. Um, hope you guys were able to get some takeaways from this video and I hope you can apply it to your own journey. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for joining. From now on, videos will be posted every Monday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Monday just worked better for me and my schedule. But again, thank you guys for joining. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.